Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. The truce would have been short-lived. According to sources close to the Presidency of the Republic, the fate of the Secretary General of the Presidency of the Republic, Ferdinand Congo, is sealed. Even if the spectacular arrest project has been postponed, the plan to eliminate the Secretary General of the Presidency of the Republic from the race of succession of Paul Bia is more relevant now than ever. A coalition of Bulu has just emerged. Its mission is to accelerate the process of the seizure of power by Frank Bia. According to the source, all the Bulu within the Seraglio have pledged allegiance to the son of the President of the Republic, Frank Bia. At the Palace of Unity, the director of Paul Bia's civil cabinet, Samuel Mvondo Ayulu, is presented as Frank Bia's major support. The journalist, Michel Biemtong, makes the revelations. He states that Ferdinand Gongo has no chance of getting out of this. He further mentions that the son of Paul Bia, Frank Bia, has other tenors of the regime who are behind him. These include Ivo de Sancio Yenwo, the head of the presidential security, Rear Admiral Joseph Fuda, special advisor to Paul Bia, and then there is the commander of the presidential guard, Raymond Jean Charles Beko Abondo. Apart from the presidential palace, the Bulu clan also controls the special criminal court, which according to Michel Biemtong is the legal instrument used by Frank Bia's supporters to settle their political problems. The Minister of Justice, Laurent Esso, also joined the camp of Frank Bia, according to the source. Very discreetly, Frank Bia would have already taken control of the Ministry of Finance. His relations with the Ministry of Economy are also numerous. The current Minister of Economy is a longtime friend of Ghislaine Samung Gwewo, who introduced him to Frank Bia. This engineer trained at the Technical University of North Rhine-Westphalia in Aachen, Germany, and was the general manager of Afriland First Bank, the second bank in the country, before being propelled by Paul Bia at the head of the Ministry of Finance on Frank Bia's recommendation. Thanks to the latest reshuffle, May moved the finance portfolio to that of the economy, swapping with Luis Paul Mutazi.